Hey, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Can you speak Sagittarius? How's it going? Happy mid-April. Um, this is Truly Divine's channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what's up? My name is Amy. If you haven't, go back and check out the first half of um, April so that you'll get a sense of what's um, going on. Just because I kind of feel like this is going to tie in with that. Um, but let's get started. So your Power of Love card for the second half of April. So from like the 16th till well, whenever April ends. 20 something. Um, sorry, I'm silly today. Talks about forgiveness. It says you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurt. So finally some light. Finally some good news, guys. Um, you guys are... You've gotten to that point now where you've kind of realized that you have to let go. You have to forgive those who have hurt you. You've got to let go of the past. You just have to keep moving forward. And that's that's the basis of this reading, um, which is great because I think that we ended off kind of a little upsetting last round. Um, truth must come out, right? Truth must be told. Um, we don't want to live, or not live, but we don't want to be in scenarios where... It's not of our higher good, right? So forgive those who have hurt you going into the second half of February. February. See? Can't even speak. April. It's because all this damn snow. I don't know if you guys have snow where you are, but we have tons here again. But let's let's dig into your reading. So we have a death card. Eight of Wands. Two of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, and we have this, or Ace of Wands. So, Sagittarius, um, your energies are definitely coming through, the fire energies, Leo and Aries as well. Um, we have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra coming through. We have water. Oh, we have everyone. Um, so you guys could be dealing with anyone from Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Because everyone's here. Alright, Sagittarius. So what's going on? I feel like with this forgiveness that we're starting off with, you guys are entering into being able to breathe again. I think that's why the Ten of Cups is here. And if you notice the rainbow behind this little girl... Um, this is kind of that, that beginning that we've wanted. This is kind of that start to something. This, this is it. This, this is where all of that forgiveness and all of that past hurt and all of the past, this is all wrapping up. This is all coming to something better. This is peace. This is harmony. This is fulfillment. This is love coming in. This is, you know, being happy with your family, being happy in your marriage. The storm is over. The storm is over. Um, I'm going to go back to that one. I feel like you guys are going to have ble more blessings coming through. That's why the Ten of Pentacles is here. This is talking about finally feeling settled, feeling secure, feeling comfortable. Um building up from a foundation this is also financial and family stability so i think you're on the right track or track sagittarius i think we are headed in a really great direction but when i say that i want to go to that two of swords because the two of swords is still being confused about a situation this is still even though you know and even though you see the abundance coming through um, with regards to your family or your love life or your career, you still you can't make a decision. You're still blindsided. They're, your eyes are still closed off to that possibility. Even though you have had that forgiveness, right? We have the forgiveness card here. I feel like you just don't believe in yourself. And you have to get to that point if you want this new beginning. If you want this new stability this new foundation you have it it's within your reach all you have to do is make that choice like we were talking about last time point a or point b 
It's so simple. It's at your reach. Just believe in yourself. That's what I'm feeling. That's what they're telling me. It's like you... I don't necessarily think you guys are looking back anymore. I think that you have finally got, got it. You finally have left the past in the past. You're moving forward. It's just that little bit of doubt that what happens if it all falls apart again? You know what I mean? Like that's, that's the little tiny voice that you have going on inside of your head. And with that, I want to say is don't listen to that. Don't listen to that, that voice and that, that thing that's talking to you because spirit wants you to know that there's, there's new beginnings here. There's new, there's new abundances. There's new love. There's family. Everything is, um, in control. You are birthing a new way of idea. That's why the Ace of Wands here, Sagittarius, you are on the way to something amazing. Um, I feel like I just feel so happy reading this for you guys right now. Um, it's kind of funny because with this eight of wands here, it's like a sense of falling in love. Are you guys falling in love? Is that it? And you're wondering if, you know, if this is actually going to happen for you. You're wondering if you can move forward and actually do this without those doubts coming back, those fears coming back. Because it's coming. I feel it. I feel like that, you know, giggly kind of feeling that, you know, you just like meet someone out of the sky or someone falls out of the sky or you meet someone in a coffee shop or you meet someone in a grocery store and it's just one of those random places that you finally just meet someone who's nice and respectful and decent and they're probably really good looking. But... It's the planting of the new seeds, right? That's what the Ace of Wands is. It's You've gotten to yourself to the point where you're like, you know, I forgive those who have hurt me and done me wrong, you know? And because you did that, because you released all of that past hurt, you guys are getting that, that abundance coming through. You're getting that power back. You're getting your control back. You're getting that, you know, the good news, the following, following, falling in love feeling like it's all here it's all like I can feel it at my fingertips like it's right here it's just that one thing with this two of swords that you know that split thing in your mind that says you know is this real or is he or she gonna turn out just exactly like what I just left because I can't handle that I don't want to do that don't do that to yourself don't question what has happened to you in the past was a lesson. It was a test to move you forward. That's all. That's that's it. We are happy now. We are getting there, Sagittarius. We are moving forward. We are heading into some new direction. We are we are like full force just going. That's what I feel like. I feel like this is awesome. Um Yeah, see cuz this that's why the death card is here. This is fear based. And that's what I was saying. There's like that split thing in your mind that is questioning this new person, this new relationship. You know what I say to that? Out with the old, in with the new. You don't, you no longer need to hold on to fear. You no longer need to hold on to resentment. You no longer need to feel like you're not good enough. You're not worthy enough because... You are training yourself to say, I am worthy enough, I am good enough, and I deserve this love. I deserve this fire sign, Aries Sagittarius, or um, who's the other one? Leo. But it could be anyone, right? It could be an earth sign, it could be an air sign, it could be a water sign. I, it, like, it's all up to you, Sagittarius. Like, what, what do you want? You know? Are you ready for this happy beginning? Because this happy beginning is right there. Like this to me is like a really, really, really good reading. I'm just going to pull two more cards because four of cups and ace of cups. Yeah. See new beginnings. I feel like this new love too could bring a baby. Conception of a child. That's what I feel like. I feel like this could be the birth of a child. You have finally found someone that you want to have children with. You have finally entered into that next 
step, that next journey of your life, Sagittarius. But if you stay in stagnation with the Four of Cups here, if you stay in that feeling like um, feeling alone and feeling sad and feeling lost and feeling sorry for yourself and feeling, you know, like you're not yourself, feeling like, you know, you're afraid, you know, that's where that fear comes from. We have been manifesting this for how long now? We have been going through so much deception, so much lies. We have taken ourselves out of abusive relationships, taken ourselves out of, you know, whatever scenarios we were in. And we've gone out of all of that. You know why? Because Spirit and God was bringing us to something better. And that's what I truly feel. I feel like you guys had to put through some horrible tests. And now you're seeing the light. The light is coming. Like, the train is, like, going into, like, the tunnel, and, like, you can see the light. I can see the light. Can you guys see the light? Like, it's right there. Reach out and grab your happiness. Reach out and grab your love, guys. It's right there. All right. So, your universe card says this. I witness the darkness and call in the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this sphere through the eyes of a teacher of love. See? That's really beautiful. There is no more darkness anymore, guys. You know, you, what you've been praying about, what you've been, what you've been manifesting, Sagittarius.